Stop 13, Canongate Tollbooth. Located next to the Canongate Kirk, Canongate Tollbooth was another place where accused local witches could be imprisoned and tried. But sometimes, notorious people from outside Edinburgh were also held here. One of these was Janet Douglas, a witch finder and accuser who claimed to have second sight. Janet started her career aged 12 or 13 and was thought to have come from the Highlands. She gained credibility by posing as mute, playing on beliefs about non-speaking people having supernatural powers. Five people were executed in Paisley in 1677 as a result of her accusations. She created a sensation by claiming to know if people were bewitched and who had bewitched them. That was why she was brought to Edinburgh and incarcerated in the Canongate Tollbooth in March 1679, accused of being an imposter who had a familiar and was consulting with evil spirits. Sadly, women weren't only the victims of witch hunts. Sometimes they were perpetrators. They believed in witchcraft just as men did, so they gave evidence against women and others accused of the crime. And some were witch finders. There was even a female witch pricker. Janet was investigated by the Privy Council between 11th March and 30th March 1679. Eventually, she was banished. We don't know where she went next, but her witch-accusing career in Scotland was over.